and Talon Castle. Here it has stood in stone and spirit for a thousand years and more. They say that once long ago, it was the home of the great wizard, Michael Scott. They're wrong, of course, about the once long ago. Take care if you venture into Tantalum's depths. Beware of who you may meet and what you may learn. For this is a place of dangerous secrets, hidden terrors, and woeful treachery. Contrarius grow in their philosophic eggs. And the more they grow, the hungrier they become. Hmm. Los Contrarius? Are they what I think they are? No, don't be afraid. My little creatures are no match for you. Yet. But soon. Oh, very soon. They will have the strength, just as I shall soon possess the power to overthrow the great Michael Scott. It is a wise wolf who knows which side to be on. Now back in the box. <laughs> Marnie made about choosing the trip to Tantalan Castle. You two girls broke all the rules as soon as we got there. Mr. Kasmani and I are very disappointed. Very disappointed. I'm sorry, Mr. Kasmani. It's really all my fault. I just went off exploring and all Laura was doing was looking for me. I was worried she'd gotten lost. No, that won't do. Mr. Kasmani and I know you, Laura Niven. And I bet you were the instigator. But no, that's but nothing. But you will both do five pages on the history of Tantalan Castle. Tantalan? But oh, I my. want it first thing tomorrow on my desk. That'll be all. Five pages on Tantalan? Easy. What? Look, I'll do it and I'll send it to you tomorrow, OK? Computers, then? No. We had to do our sums with a chalk and a slate and a great big stick. What was the great big stick for? Um, to hit us with when we got our sums wrong. The only one who never got wallops was Wolfgang. Ah, uh, he was always the favourite. I wonder where he is. Are you sure Wolfgang's OK? Oh, yes. He simply got himself lost at the castle. And still, he might have been kidnapped. 
You know that guy? The guy who was giving the guided tour? What you call him? Mick Haggard? I think I recognized him. Does he have something to do with your stupid book, too? Um, uh, we do need the book, remember? If we're ever going to regain our human form. Mm -hmm. Sure. Sorry, Elsa. I just... I need some time to think about the quest, okay? But right now, I have to finish this five-page essay and email it to Laura tonight. So, come on, guys. Life in good old Tantalon Castle. Oh, very well. <clears throat> now, oh, I remember it all as if it were yesterday. We shared a spacious chamber overlooking the sea. We lived in the basement? Yes, 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 well, that was later. Oh, I well recall the bustle around the kitchens whenever a fresh stag was delivered. Oh, what a sight. So, the great Michael has revealed all to his precious chosen one. The question is, dear boy, has the girl child agreed to take on the quest? She'll take some persuading. <laughs> and we both know she must accept the challenge of her own free will. Then you must work upon her. Beguile her. Use your sly charms. If you do your work well, the Chosen One will lead me to the book before Michael. Marnie McBride, a mere eleven-year-old girl, Michael Scott's chosen one. Poor, poor Wolfgang. I know you find that hard to swallow. But remember, you have promised me that I shall be your chosen one. I made you no such promise, yet. But as a reward, you will be returned to human form, as will your fellow shoebox creatures. If that is what you desire for them, of course. I expect greater rewards in time. Just do your job. Okay. And if I don't... <laughs> Voila. Thank you, Attackers. Give me the eyes. Copied. Clearly copied. These two S's are practically identical. Even the spelling mistakes are identical, aren't they, Marnie? I guess so, miss. Isn't that an amazing coincidence, miss? Um, it, it must be the way we're being taught. How do you both know that the, the tapestries in the Douglas Towers upper chamber were of purest blue silk? Or that the kitchen cat was called Kirsty? Or that young McTaggart collected three cheeses from the nuns of Melrose Abbey every Tuesday. Three cheeses? I only ever saw two. I think we all know that you copied your essay off Loras, and she had no other source but her own colourful imagination. No, I didn't, miss. That's the honest truth. You two girls clearly haven't learnt your lesson. Perhaps five pages of maths. But we'll wipe the grins off your faces. But, miss, that's not Six. fair. But do you really want to try for seven? You promised it was all true. Well, sure it's all true. Oh, yeah, where did you get it from then, eh? I... Oh, come on, you just made it all up. No, I didn't. I promise, OK? You're weird. Yeah, well, you might have been smart enough to change, like, a few of the words. Yeah, well, I'll be doing the six pages of maths without your help, thanks very much. Oh, yeah, fine. Shows your shoe with me. 
Yeah, we want to look at your little toysy wisies. Show us the poxy zoo. Don't tell you I haven't got them, they're in your bag. Get the bag. I said go and get it. You want it? Come and get it. trying to steal the shoebox zoo. Steal? No, no, no. It was just for fun. But anyway, we were following you to let you know that we found your little wolf toy. What? You have him? We found him in Tantalan Castle. You must have dropped him. Unless, of course, he ran away by himself. But he couldn't do that, could he? Can I have him, please? Have him got him on me. Sure. <sighs> Why don't you come to my birthday party? I'll give you him there. There's magic games and crazy fun. Come join the party if you can. A riddle, ah. the chosen one. What boy is father to the man? We'll come, won't you, Molly? I... I think I better go get some help. What are you doing? Oh. Cleaning up. Sorry, I... Are your shoebox pals helping you with your homework? Do you want something to add? Because I'm kind of busy. I'm concerned, sweetheart. Mr. Kazmani phoned from school. He wants to see you tomorrow. He's worried about you. Your work. About your attitude. Do you know what he means? No. And this boy, Doogie, he had some kind of an accident. Do you know anything about that? Well, I got a letter from your grandma and grandpa today. They sent their love. And grandma asked me, is Marnie settling into school? Is she coping? I don't know how to reply. Tell her I'm fine. Are you sure? Sure. I'm as fine as any kid could be. When her mum dies, she's dragged halfway across the world to a country where she doesn't know anyone, and half the kids think she's a freak. <sighs> Forget it, Dad. Poor man. As trouble piled upon trouble. Was it really her anger that unleashed that hidden power against John Roberts, even if it missed its mark and floored young Doogie instead? She wouldn't have felt so bad if she'd known John Roberts' true identity. Aye, trouble upon trouble. But I was nowhere near Doogie when it happened, honest. 
Yes. Trouble upon trouble. And neither was Marnie. Marnie was there. And my guess is you weren't far away either. Now, Miss Mackay, I really don't see how Marnie could have tampered with the light fitting to cause Douglas's accident, do you? No. Well, off you go, girls. But I'll ask you to write him a letter of apology. And that's an order, by the way? Yes, Mr. Yes, Mr. Chosen one, what boy is father to the man? Hey, does this mean Toledo is John Roberts? Yes, yes, and I bet he's Scott Wolfgang. Oh. Yes, yes. Not for long. Tomorrow, we get him back. Magic. I'll show the chosen one a thing or two about magic. I do have something for you, don't I? Do you? It's the little wolf toy you lent me. It's quite a wonderful piece of work, isn't he? Quite valuable, I should think. You know, my dear, I'm terribly taken with your toys. In fact, when you and I are best friends, what we shall be, won't it be fun to play with them together? Uh, in your dreams, you stole him from me and I want him back. Very well. Oh, like, real funny. Come on, where is he? What? What have you done? Me? Hey, that's not a wolf. Of course it's not a wolf. <laughs> what have you done with Wolfgang, girl child? What have I done? You're the wizard, not me. Ladles and jelly spoons, boys and girls, let's hear it for the amazing uh, Amazel. <laughs> Four pretty little creatures without an enemy in the world. Without an enemy, that is, except for science. The elements. Earth. <laughs> Air. <laughs> fire. Water. <laughs> no metal on Earth can withstand the power of fire. Even this beautiful snake 
will very shortly become nothing more than a puddle of molten liquid. Be calm, my dears, be calm. This is merely a scientific demonstration. Our friends would cry for water if they could but speak. But this is no ordinary water. This is Agua Regia, Queen of Acids. <laughs> I watch the authority, fire, and air combine. Can we undo their mischief, I wonder? for the boys and girls in the audience that this vessel is indeed empty and that the creatures have indeed vanished. Yes. They are gone now. If you are prepared to undertake a certain quest, they will come back again to you. And if that is what you want, then you have to find me. Thank you. Round of applause, please. For my next experiment, I shall require a volunteer. Who shall it be? Who shall it be? Who shall it be? Anyone for him? Jelly? <sighs> Quite a party, eh? Next time on Shoebox Zoo. You're the chosen one. It's your destiny. Whether you want it or not, you must use it. Must I? You have news for me. I believe the girl can be persuaded to help us. Child, psychologist. You have got to be joking me, Dad. 